Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with the Lenovo IdeaPad 3, the 15 inch version, and I'm going to show you how to get inside to access your RAM and your solid state drive if you need to replace or upgrade it. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have these four screws along the bottom edge here, these three along the middle, and these three along the top. Once you get those screws out, you're going to take your small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal tends to scratch your cases much more than plastic ones. So take your small, flat, plastic pry tool and go across this seam all the way around to gently but firmly pry up your bottom case from the rest of your computer. Be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage things inside the computer. Just keep it on the edge and go nice and slow. If you get stuck in a spot, stop and continue in the other direction. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a side note, guys, to your computer repair project, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either a mat or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to help you limit the chances of damaging anything in your computer when working on them. If you need help with any tools or supplies for your computer repair, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a list of things that I use in my shop. So here's your battery right here on the bottom right corner. If you want to remove it, you have these three screws here. You have two on the left, one on the right, and then the battery plugs into the motherboard right there. Because there's not a lot of slack in this line, I had to remove the battery and then use it to pull out of that port there. Even though I always say to not pull from the wires, if you can help it, there's really no other way to pull that out. It's, it's really kind of hard. So I had to pull it out from the wires. So after the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe now to proceed deeper into the computer. This is your RAM right here. And this is your solid state drive that comes with the computer right there. As a side note, guys, that same link that I told you about earlier with all the tools and, and supplies in that same link below in the description, there will also be a list of replacement parts for this model computer and upgrade parts, including RAM, solid state drive batteries, things like that. It'll all be in that same link. So to access your RAM, RAM is usually displayed this way. You see a metal spring loaded arm on either side. In order to get the RAM out, you would pry those apart from each other gently away from the RAM stick. The RAM stick would then release. In most cases, it would pop up a little bit, and then you can slide it out of that port. To slide it back in, you would insert it back into these ports. And as you can see, there's a long one and a short one. So you can only get that RAM in the correct way. And then when you get it in nice and flush and even, press down in the middle, and those two metal arms will snap onto it and secure it in place. Now this motherboard already comes with, I believe, four gigabytes of soldered in memory um, that comes integrated into the motherboard. The computer that I saw had an eight gigabyte stick in it. So I'm not sure what the max RAM is. I'll look that up before posting the video and I'll have that information below in the description if you need it. Um, but this is DDR4 RAM. And again, that was an eight gigabyte stick that I saw. Your solid state drive is right here. This is an M.2 port right there. And you see this small little solid state drive, this 42 millimeter, and it's screwed down with a single screw on this side once you lift up this thermal tape, and then you can release that solid state drive. As you can see, there's also a screw hole here, which means this can also support the 80 millimeter solid state drives as well um, if you wanted to upgrade to that. And then if you notice down here, as far as your storage goes, there's a 2.5 inch SATA slot right here, and you would have to buy a SATA connection and the ribbon cable would plug into the motherboard right here. So that's kind of nice. You can add another 2.5 inch SATA drive there, hard drive or solid state drive can be added to this computer there. So that's the video guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button, you can click on that. 
you can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.